Good afternoon from Marie at Messy M Creations. Um, here on a Wednesday, bringing you a one sheet wonder for a Wednesday. I like to get all the W's in, except I know they're not W's, they're O's, but it all rhymes. So, oh, I'm hoping. You, oh, there we go, slightly brighter. Hi, Carol. So, as you join me live, please do say hi. And if you do catch me on catch up, say hi as well. Got a bit of a wire hell going on. There we go. Let's get over the wire hell. So, I am doing a one sheet wonder today. I'm um, featuring Two A Wild Rose and All Things Fabulous. The reason I have Peaceful Bows out as well is I wanted a dotty one to infill some gaps. So, I made a start. So, here's the start of the one sheet wonder. But what I discovered when I was playing with background colours, I think this looks absolutely stunning on Just Jade, if I do say so myself. So I think that's going to be our background. And I'm thinking this might lend itself to a DL card again, which I've checked on the sizes today. Um, and 10 centimetres by 21 centimetres is the official sizing. I was having to sort out cards earlier and I've got piles everywhere. So, colour-wise, I have Blushing Bride as this paler pink with Poppy Parade as the red and a range of leaves. So the brighter green is Granny Apple, Mossy Meadow and then these ones are currently in Just Jade. So, let us carry on from where we've left off now both this is a three-step stamp and i have used all three steps so there is a slight outline in the blushing bride as well as the background color um, in this particular one again it is a three-step but i have only used two steps um, and i've also whilst i've used shimmery white as the background i've also added a bit of, and I'm not sure if you can see it on the camera, I suspect not. I've added some um, Wink of Stella on these smaller flowers. So if I sort of carry on, these so are the Blushing Bride and then I'm popping on top. And again, I'm not being overly accurate, really just lining up kind of the gaps that I can see but not being as exact as I would be perhaps if I was just using the set on its own. Oops, sorry, probably got the top of my head coming through there. So that just needs, oh, maybe we just need to pop one. Which way round is that going to be? That's our only challenge as to I think we'll kind of do it mm. just a little bit like that don't think it particularly matters oh look we've got one over here as well so as I say doesn't I don't think it needs to be overly accurate if you want it to be you could And say so I've literally just taken my Wink of Stella pen and run it across. Oh, that hasn't quite dried, so it is taking the colour with it. The rest are dried when I pop the Wink of Stella on, so just be a little bit careful that if you don't want those colours to merge in as they have I might leave those other ones to dry a little bit more let's do some more leaves um i might i'd rather like the just jade so i'm going to pop some more leaves in and what i'm doing is the stalks i'm leaving them clear so that i'm just inking up the leaves a little gap on that one there 
Um, so essentially then what we can do is sort of take the leaf right into the flower Says doing that should then put the ink on that, but then we can make it appear that the leaves are popping out from under. So say it's just just whatever you think. I just fancied giving. I've done a flowery one for a little while, and I have done a lot of Christmas recently, so I decided to stay away from. Christmas. I might do some mossy meadow. Oh, actually, let's go granny. Granny apple. It's a nice, vibrant. I'll pop some of those bigger ones. So this is the sort of outline leaf, and again, I want to try and avoid getting the leaf stalk too inky. And go too far into that area so I'm just going to be a little bit there is an infill stamp for this uh, this one so if you wanted to use the infill we could not just have some leaves popping around sort of there ish, I think. <laughs> a few of those around the place and maybe some more of these this will be a pair of leaves and then see uh, quite interesting when I kind of do that pre-prep because I've I think often it's more beneficial for you to perhaps see the cards rather than the whole process there are a lot out there where I have shown you the whole process but it looks so different oh look at that it's too right on the top of my head um it looks so different when i can see it on the screen it was quite a strange thing doing the one sheet wonder without having the screen you might just pop those off the edge slightly so not overly worrying if that, that one hasn't stamped fully and haven't really thought about greetings yet either. What I might do though is add some green dots around the place. So really just using them as a bit of an infill where I feel we might need... to fill some of those white areas you to just kind of add something a little bit different and I do like a splob actually that was one of the interesting things on I was on a retreat weekend this weekend with um, the Pinkies team and we had a fantastic little session with Sarah Douglas from Stamping Up, who is the CEO and just has incredible passion and energy about all things um, stamping. And someone asked what sets she'd kept back. And there was one that she'd kept back abstract textures i think it was called something like that that i think would be is a brilliant one for um 
one sheet wonders as well so uh, lots of these sort of random patterns but I thought they're quite interesting that even she holds back stamp sets and doesn't surrender them all but yes we've got a fantastic insight into her uh, her house and her crafting but I do like a do you like a leader with passion Hi Pam, hope you are well. So let's see, how are we doing? I'll just add a few more bits around and then I might give that a whirl on chopping it up and seeing what happens. As I say, I rather like the DL cards I did the other day. So I have just realised I haven't cut any DL card bases. So, oh, no, that's cream. We don't want very vanilla, we want white. Oh, actually, what, how does, oh no, that is, that is white. I'm having a, having a moment. That's unusual, isn't it? Not. So we have. So 21 is the width of our card, and 10 centimeters is the ultimate length. That's the wrong word to use. So I need to cut at. 20 so I'm leaving the width obviously if we keep these scraps for other projects so this is going to be scored at 10 centimeters let's get that cutting blade out of the way so we're using the full width of an A4 piece of paper but cutting at 20 as I say we know those little bits will get used need to get that cutting blade out of the way and again we're scoring at 10 centimeters so let's do those couples so this I just adored so again I'm going to use my dimensions. So for me, I always use half a centimetre, just keeps the maths slightly easier. So it's going to be half a centimetre off that longer side. So I've made that half a centimetre smaller. So for me, that just some people I know use 0.4 centimeters it's entirely up to you whatever your preference is and then in essence I'm going to cut this so we had braining gear that would help wouldn't it so that is 9.5 so I'm going to cut at 9 get me And then from the width, I need to take a centimetre. However, I want to keep both sides. So I'm going to take a half centimetre off either side of this. So with the stamping up cutting board, I have a measurement on the right hand side there as I'm looking at it of that arm as well and then you can see oh, I just think that just jade makes that pop fantastically and what I'm thinking is that one's going to be rather nice that way up and we can choose where the greeting's going to go oh I just think that's 
That's beautiful. That is. So let's just think, do we want Granny Apple background? Somehow that's not as nice, I don't think. That just jade is just absolutely gorgeous. So maybe we'll do, should we do one on a poppy parade? background so let's trim that to our 9.5 oh excuse me if you can hear that my tummy is just telling me it's uh, it's most definitely dinner time so then we've got 20.5 correct again it's just getting your head round all these different measurements and then I'm going to cut another I'm going to cut it off the other side so again nine centimeters and then actually do you know what I might oh I've got a bit of a splodge on that one let's see where let's see if we can get rid of that splodge by cutting no we can't so what I might do is take my full centimetre off one end. Because what I'm thinking is we have a splodge there. But that lends itself now, I think, to having a nice label up there with a sentiment on. And that will hide the splodge and nobody will ever know. But look at that. You can see the difference that jade makes to the red that just jade i think is gorgeous then i've got this piece which actually measures kind of 11.5 so part of me is thinking let's cut that in half so the full width of that is the 21 so i'm going to cut that at 10.5 see if we can get four cards out and see what happens because out I'm almost thinking, well, let's, have a, let's have a standard card base, which I should hopefully have in my little box of tricks. So I think we can do two cards with it cut that way, which is rather nice. So we'll find... let's have a look we have so that's what's our we have lost worth 12 1 2 3 so proportionally actually let's take three off and let's see one two so seven point five i'm just uh, i'm chatting away to myself so just excuse a moment while i work out what dimensions i might want to use because i sort of want to equal so that's rather nice and i'm thinking on a piece of just jade that might look rather let's have a look So we could have a slightly bigger border, or do we do that one on? Mm, I don't think Granny Apple's quite right. If we do a just jade, I'm going to make a centimetre border. So this piece of card measures kind of 11.5, so I want 13.5. 11 11.5 plus 1 is 12.5, Marie. Who said maths was my strong point? Not me. So I'm going to make a wider border. Width-wise, it measures ooh, so eight. So add a centimeter onto that to give us that all-round border. 
that's rather nice that's got a beautiful area there now for a sentiment and I think we'll do a similar process here although we could how about we just make how about a poppy parade card base that might look rather nice just let me see what I have in my little stash sods law would of course dictate that I don't have a poppy parade one cut but if I check my magic box which is nothing magic about it it's just got every single colour in our card bases so so that's poppy parade i guess see if i cut that and just pop that on straight onto the base what do we think or are we thinking maybe just jade now should we go poppy parade that's a nice be nice and bright how many decided on what sentiments So I think leave that width as it is and take off to take off a centimetre and a half and see how that looks. And again, sentiment there. Perfect. So that's two DLs and two standard c card base c well, the other thing is is i didn't think we could do mm, no going to be decisive for a change um oh now then Sentiments, sentiments, sentiments. How about Oh now that might be quite suitable for a card I have to send. Let your faith be bigger than your fear. It's too big for there. might fit rather nicely oh, I think that fits rather nicely into there doesn't it that's quite a good one so I think with a one sheet wonder you can kind of just pick so many different reasons to send a card and so many different sentiments that could be suitable and what we can do is put a card together without a sentiment and then have a card already on hand for that moment when you think oh and there are so many sentiments that would fit into that gap and that really doesn't need anything more than that i don't think personally So the, say tape tends to be my preference but it gives me no wriggle room so I do have to be pretty accurate wet glue gives you that little bit of wriggle room if you need it so again I'm just constructing this just need to be pretty accurate about where I'm going to 
replace it if I'm a little bit out I'm sure nobody's going to say mm, look at that card not straight they can say look at that card handmade and people really do genuinely love handmade cards So that one has got that little blob that's come from somewhere, no not where, but that definitely having a label will just mask that and nobody will ever know and that can be our secret so just don't tell anybody that you saw this and you saw that blob. So it's a little harder on a DL to get that accurate. And as I think I said the other day when I did a DL card, actually that one look, it looks rather nice that way around. So... Um, yes, uh, sorry, I was, I was halfway through a sentence and had a thought. Um, yeah, stamping up, don't do DL envelopes, although with the popularity of um, DL cards, they might start. Um, so I tend to buy craft brown envelopes, because then I think brown envelopes go with anything. And all I'm doing is using my sand eraser, and it literally just takes off. The, the very top layer of paper so you cannot see that ink well you can see a little bit but and say so it honestly is not going to be the focal point of the card now that little blob and if I'm that worried about it I might just pop a little blob um, oh that's another the end of another reel of tape There's been a lot of crafting in this craft room recently, which is fantastic because I love, love, love it. So yes, luckily I keep a lot of um, tape in stock. And wet glue for that matter. <laughs> The one thing you don't want to be running out running out of when you're a crafter is any of your tapes and glues. So Oh, no. That way I think that possibly fits better in there. Well, I do think Well, there's a hard decision. No, I'm going to go with the green, the Just Jade background. And I'm going to flatten that out so that I don't get it popping up as I'm about to put a sentiment on because the one thing we now don't want to do is mess our sentiment up. Although, the one thing that we can do if we mess a sentiment up is create a label. So ink that up. Keep that fairly central. Perfect. But if that hadn't have been, would have just added a label and then we would have been fine. So the only thing I think we need to add now is a little bit of bling because we can and I think 
might just go a simple Diamante without adding any colour. I'm going to use the smaller size and just pop a few about the place. I might just pop one. by the sentiment there so I tend to keep with odd numbers so if I feel I need more I'm going to go to five rather than th three uh, yep so three just wondering whether we could have I think two more I think I'm going to go five One there, and one up there. So we've finished one card there. So there we go. I haven't, I'm just going to bone folder that. To flatten that and then I'm going to write that one later and send that to the recipient. So we have two DLs and, oh, and a cascade of things falling. So that can go either way around. So two DLs and two C6 and sentiments that are making a break for it so there we go four cards from a one sheet wonder um, using poppy parade blushing bride just jade granny apple green mossy meadow and all things fabulous and to a wild rose so hopefully you have enjoyed that and i look forward to seeing you again very soon let's bring that down slightly so you can see them better so thank you very much for joining me. Take care. Speak to you soon. Bye bye.